it's your girl Mercy and today we're going to be talking about again they're asking us about how did the name came about um, how did the show our podcast because we've been doing this thing for a very long time before you know podcasts were even a podcast a podcast we were doing this when it wasn't popular now there's one you know every five minutes it's seconds um, if you will and we you know had this going for a long time um, we started out with block talk, block block talk, talk radio with, yeah so it wasn't even um, no camera all boys right um, and it was really birthed out of pain right right we were going through some really difficult challenges in our own really, right um, lives specifically mm. our marriages our finances it was just happening right and so um, because we were in pain. I remember being in yeah. pain. And you were like, you know, let's just talk about it. Let's just yes. talk about it on a platform where uh, maybe some other people are going through the same thing. Maybe mm. other women are experiencing the same things we were experiencing. So um, we decided to go um, on Blog Talk Radio mm -hmm. and, <laughs> and start out small and just right. start with some of the topics that um, uh, we started out with what was happening with us, but then it grew. Right. Because we got a lot right um, really liked us yeah, sending in questions saying, right what do you think about this and what do you think about that and that's kind of how the show began to grow because it wasn't just us going through the pain we always thought it was just me and you right you know I always encourage people to make sure you have a prayer partner and um, this was my prayer partner and always we said you know we trust each other. A prayer partner is someone that just say, you don't even have to tell me what's going on. I don't even need to know. You know, I don't even need to know. I'm going straight to the Father with it. You don't even have to tell me. Instead of going to all the friends and family. So I knew that I could trust her. She could trust me. And that's how we kind of developed that relationship. And then I said, you know, it's not just us women that are going through sure. it. it. It was outside. It was more people. And we need to broadcast this because yeah. it's not just for us yeah. it's for um women all around and not just women because we were getting men too sure. so i i definitely um knew that that was from the lord yeah that we we had to do this not only for ourselves to heal but also for the folks that out there the fans that have been with us since day one yeah um, needed to heal as well. Yeah, so that's absolutely. where it came from that we um, decided to do the show. And you know, as I think back on it, I go, how did we come up with the name Grace and Mercy? Like, like, where did that come from? As you look back on it, because it's yeah. been like, what, 15, 16 years, years that we've been um, using Doing this thing, yeah. Using those, I say, names or right. terms. Um, but it's changed over the years. Because when right. we first started, uh, it was just, this is the, I don't even know why we, we didn't even say it yet. It just kind of fell out of us. Right. So we knew that was God. Right. Um, but I remember talking about, well, what is grace? Because I was like, what does grace mean? And what does mercy mean? And we really, we're trying to break that down. And I think it's important that we reshare that with the audience. Yeah. Then they can kind of see, you know, when they're, they're listening to the show, mm -hmm. um, why we're saying approach things from a grace and a mercy perspective or a merciful perspective. perspective. So just as a reminder, you guys, you know, grace. I like this definition. It's really a two-edged sword. It's on the same coin. Mm. It's two sides of the same coin. Right. Grace and mercy, mm. right? And grace is really the gift that we don't deserve. Right. We don't deserve it, but we mm. get it. We didn't ask for it. That's what your, your grace is. And mercy is not getting the punishment. Right. That we really, deserve. That we deserve. And, and so I was like, that's perfect. Right. <laughs> that's and then perfect. The, and then the audience, or you guys, named us. Yes. Because we didn't even have a name. No. We were just called the Grace and Mercy Show. Let's go. Exactly. And um, then they said, I already know who's Grace, and I already know who's Mercy. And I would say that through that, right? So once, <laughs> once um, we were assigned the names, that's right. when life got really real. Right. Because you would think, oh, it's just a, it's just a channel. Right. It's just a, a term we're using. No, no, no. Right. Anything you speak, so mm. words are containers, and they activate, right. they activate the power of God. Okay. Right. Because what happened to me, and I can only speak from my own personal experience, right. was that my entire life from that right. moment began, began to be a journey right. of what God's grace was for me. Right. So I entered into a lot of trials and tribulations right. and things that I was going through personally. But the a grace lot of, of God. With the grace of God. Yeah. Lots of detours and right. you know, confusion and all right. that. But through that, mm -hmm. I didn't realize, and I realize it now, right. that as he was showing me his grace through my situation, right. he was 
of teaching me how then mm -hmm. to be grace to other people. Right. And so now I think that I more naturally because mm -hmm. of what I've experienced. Mm -hmm. It's that experience of what you go through and you know what God's grace really feels like. Right. Um, and not just a, not just an assenting from a knowledge perspective. I'm like, I got experience with this thing. Right. You know, so um, it's, I don't want to say easy. Yeah, it's natural and it's easy for me to extend grace mm -hmm. in my conversations, in my situations because mm -hmm. of the journey that I've been on with God. Right. Yeah. And then so that name is just so fitting for you. Yeah. The same with me as mercy comes out and um, I'm dealing with a lot of issues. I, God always kind of holds my peace. Now hold your peace, Candace. Teaching it's, you how to do that. Teaching me yeah. how to hold it. You know, even though they might deserve a good lashing. <laughs> I do talk it. I do talk it. Those yeah. that know me know that I talk it. But I do um, learn that, I, you know, I, I can stay merciful. I can always, show you know, mercy. look at a, show mercy. Mm -hmm. Always look at a situation and say, you know, I could go there because you deserve it. Right. But I'm going to hold my peace because I have mercy on the situation. And um, I think that's where the Lord brought me, where I'm able to see different things naturally in a mercy type of situation. So when I do talk to the audience, I'm able to talk it into a mercy and give it the mercy aspect of what it looks like. And that's how the grace and mercy came about. Yeah. That's how grace and mercy was birth, birth and things come naturally on two different sides. Just yes. like you said, two different sides of the coin. Yes. We're able to kind of flow in our, in our gift. I would say this is our gift of me being a merciful type of thinking and you being a, a grace type of thinking. Absolutely. So hopefully we answered your question. Yes, I hope so. There's three areas that um, the Grace and Mercy channel is going to focus on. Mm -hmm. The first area is really all around relationships. We're going to make sure you're foolproof in that particular area. Yes. The second area is going to be all about um, self-improvement, mm -hmm. right? Making sure that we understand how to take care of ourselves both, yes. you know, internally from right. a physical perspective right. yep. and also mentally from a mental perspective. Yes. That's so important mm -hmm. that we make sure that this vehicle works the way that it should and then the third mm -hmm. area is going to be all around my favorite which is right. entrepreneurship yes it both is. of us have you know started yeah stopped right uh, businesses um we've learned to pivot pivot, pivot. is so important um, for an entrepreneur mm -hmm. and we're going to talk about um new upcoming entrepreneurs that are coming out new businesses right um new artistic abilities whatever it is we want to promote right. that new entrepreneur right um because we know that as we support them right they'll support us as well and i think okay. it's going to be a win-win situation agreed agreed so one of my favorites i would say is self improvement um me personally going through you know whether it be a, a bad relationship, I'm able to, you know, self-improve in that aspect, or whether it be, you know, a job that I needed to, you know, leave, or I got demoted or promoted, whatever the case may be, I'm able to move from that situation and, uh, and improve myself in that area. These are things that I've gone through personally, and I'm able to, by experience, tell someone else what I've done to get out of that or you know, make that improvement with myself. So um, th that's one of my favorites, and I'm always asked on how I, uh, how Mercy would get out of that, or how Mercy would treat that situation or that area. So that's something that I I would say highly like. Yeah, and we're about. and we're certified life coaches. So yes. if you're looking for. Um, you know some credibility as to you know what do we bring to the table i think the life coaching but most importantly is our personal experience yes you cannot take away you will never be able to take no. away from the experiences that we have yes and that's really what allows us to speak and to share mm -hmm. because we've come through it and we've mm -hmm. overcome a lot of the topics that we are talking about yes and you can talk about it you can talk about it but once you live Ooh. it once you live it, that's hello a somebody. Story. That's a whole nother story and how we came out of it. You know, every situation is not the same. Yes. But and I think that's why God or we put in that situation so we can tell someone else. We have the platform that we've been on for many, many years that we are able to help somebody else through that situation. Absolutely. And I think that's key and that's why, you know, we're here. Yeah. We're, we're here to stay um, because we want to see um, people make it. Yes. And remember guys, we are, we provide foolproof keys. keys. We're not telling you how mm. to live your life. 
um, we're just providing information right. uh, based on our experience. And so it's really up to you right. to look at your own personal experience mm -hmm. and to determine whether or not that information we've just provided for you is in yeah. alignment with you. Like you can use it. It's going to help right. you. If not, throw it away. Like everything doesn't mm -hmm. apply to everyone. And so right. that's how we want you to take a look at the topics that we're talking about is mm -hmm. to look at how we approach things and then say, hmm, I wonder if there's a way that I can look at my situation mm -hmm. differently from more of a graceful perspective or a merciful perspective right. to address this issue that I'm dealing with in my life. That is so true that you said that because, you know, we, we supply the keys. That's it. And it's up to you to take it and walk it in the door. Yeah. It's always what my grandmother always said. You can lead them to the water, uh -huh. but you can't make them drink. You, sure can. you can't. You can't so it's them. up to you to take those keys yes. and, and walk through the door therein. Yeah. If you decide not to, that's up to you. Yeah, that's up to you. But we know, know that those keys are always there because life brings out issues all the time. You said this a long time ago. Life brings up issues, but it's always good to have a, a grace and mercy perspective. perspective. Yes.